are you guys ready for this great workout? Make sure you've got your hand towel centered right in the middle of your stick, and you're going to bring your hands underneath, palm up grip, okay? Watch me first. I'm just going to glide the stick out in front and pull it right into my rib cage and squeeze. Watch again. I'm going to glide it out in front, pull it into my rib cage and squeeze. Try it. Ready? Glide it out. Pull it into your rib cage and squeeze. Nice. Now look at my muscles behind me right here. See those upper back muscles? What I want you to do is think about squeezing right here. Let's squeeze and hold right here. What I want is these muscles right here coming together and squeezing a tennis ball, a pretend tennis ball. Good. And take those arms back out here and bring them down. Nice job. I want you to take your thumbs forward and lift that stick right up there and bring it down. Easy does it now. So you've got your stick right between your thumb and your index finger and your palms are facing each other. Let me have two more. Inhale. Oh yeah, that feels so good. And you're reaching up every time. Inhale up. Nice. Can I have a couple more? Inhale. Way back and exhale. Last one, best one right here. Ah, very nice. Now I want you to take that stick Turn your hands, palm down, take your hands a little farther apart, and we're going to just push that stick out and squat back like this, and then come right back in to that rib cage. Here we go. Ready? Squat right here and pull into the rib cage. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me. Squat right here and pull into the rib cage. How you doing? Squatting back just a little bit. Now, you're going to think about your feet right under your hips here. That stick is coming out to help you counterbalance. I want you to sit back a little deeper, reach out a little further. Now remember, only if you can, and each time you come back with your stick, I want you to bury it in your rib cage and squeeze those shoulder blades together. That's really nice. I don't want any of that stress to reside in your neck. I want you to make sure that when you pull back and into the rib cage that you're using your back muscles. Engage there. Go a little lower right here and pull back. You're going to feel that in the back of your legs. You're going to look down at your knees. Make sure they never go past your toes. You're sitting as if you're going to sit in a chair or a bench. It's a little lower than you thought it was. Okay? Take it back. Nice job. Right here. Hold it. Beautiful. Take that stick over your head. Inhale up. And exhale. Now slide your hands a little further out. Inhale up. And exhale. Slide them out comfortably a little farther. You're making a V with your arms. And one more time, right here. We're going to do an exercise called a reverse squat. I want you to watch me first. You're going to be continuing to do this as I show you this exercise, okay? So just keep lifting that stick. It's going to keep going down and up. I want you to watch how I do this. I'll turn to the side. You're going to bend over. Then you're going to squat. Then you're going to lift the stick up. And you're going to stand. You ready to try it with me? Sticks up. Here we go. You're going to bend over. Good. Easy. Now squat. Now lift the stick up over your head and come on up. Nice job. Keep going right here. You're going to bend over right there. Bend your knees. Lift the stick here and come on up. That is beautiful. Do it again right here. Bend over. Now each time you bend, to make it a little tougher, I want you to try to get a little lower when you bend over bring it up. Nice. Again, when you bend over, try to get a little lower to the ground. Squat. Lift that stick and bring it up. Nice. One more time right here. Bend it over. Squat it down. Lift that stick here and bring it up. Nice job. Hold it right there. Bring that stick behind your back. This is going to be easy twist here. You're going to take the legs a little further apart, guys, because we're going to do that same reverse squat with our legs a little farther apart. Okay, so they're going to be about shoulder distance or even maybe a tiny bit farther. Two more of these twists. Hold it right here. Take that stick up. We're going to do that bend over reverse squat again. Ready? Bend over. See if you can touch the ground. If you can't, don't worry. Squat here. Lift the stick. That's the hardest version of what we just did. Nice job. Good. Again, abs in. Bend. Knees are a little bit soft as you bend. Squat down. Lift that stick here. Come on.
one up. Yeah. That's a deep squat. Here we go. Abs are in. Bend. Soft knees here. Squat. Lift your stick. One up. Nice. Looks like a power lifter, doesn't it? Here we go. Bend and squat. Lift that stick. And come on up. You want a couple more? I'll turn to the side so you can see right here. I'm gonna bend, squat, lift that stick here, and come on up. I love this one, it's so good for you. Right here, abs in, knees soft, bend, touch the ground if you can. Squat deep, lift that stick, and come on up. Oh yeah, beautiful job. I'm gonna take that stick and just swim side to side. Lovely. We're going to do something for the upper body now. Hold it right there. Take your stick. Put it down on the ground right here. You're going to hold on to it. Right hand on top. Left foot underneath. Don't worry about your towel. Doesn't matter where that is. You're going to step slightly away from your stick. You're going to bend over here. Now you're going to pull up against the bar. Pull. Like you're trying to pull yourself out of the water using that stick. Okay? So as you pull up, you're pushing that stick into the ground and trying to lift yourself up. That's it. Pull up. There you go. Good. You're using those really good lat muscles here. Those are those back muscles here. And you're trying to get some of your weight forward into that stick. Pull. Nice. And release. Do it again. Abs in. Pull. Now when you come down into this bent over position, I want you to try to tilt that stick away a little bit. You want to make sure that stick is on your mat if you're on carpet. That's okay too, but you want to have something for that stick to get, dig into. Beautiful. Let me have two more. Pull. Nice. Last one, best one right here. Pull. Hold it right here. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Good job. I want you to take that stick behind you. Put it right there on your back and just hold in this position. Open those shoulders. Open those hands right here. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Breath. And exhale. Good. And you're going to take your stick back down where you got it. Now this time you're going to put your left hand on top, your right hand underneath the left hand, right here at about chin level. Holding on here, stepping back, bending those knees. Let's do our little pull-ups right here. Pull-ups. We could call these pull-ups. Pull. Pull. These are a little faster. Got it? Let's slow it down. Here we go. Pull. Release. Do it again. And pull. Now remember what I said. Keep your knees bent, abs in. And as you pull up, drive your weight down into the end of the stick that's on the mat and then tilt it away from your body as you come back down. Right here. And down. Good. Keep going. Pull. And release. And as you release that weight back down, you're still keeping great pressure on that stick. This is great for your upper body. Give me two more right here. Two. That's it. You want to release your grip a little bit at the way bottom of that move. Hold it right here. And step forward. Good. Take your stick. Put it behind your back this time. Lean over. Ah, and that towel should cushion your back right there in the middle. And you're going to hold that stretch right there. These can be a little soft here. Stay there. That's it. Hold it right there. Good job. All right. Now, I'm going to bend over stand up. Just there. Making sure your towel is right in the small of your back. I want you just to bend and stand. Now, see how my knees are soft? I want you to think about pitching your chest forward and pitching your hips back. I want as much distance right here in the middle of the spine as you can get. Good. Let me have two more like that. Chest is lifted, shoulders are back, palms are against the stick, thumbs are up, abs are in. Head, neck, chest, and shoulders moving as one unit. These are soft here, so you can push those hips back. Nice job. And you're going to keep your hands right here. Beautiful. Hold it right here. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Roll those shoulders back and down. Now what I wanted to do is just put the stick right there under my elbows. I'm going to hold on to it. See how it looks? Right there. Okay? Now, you're going to take one leg back. You're going to be bending over and standing up. Okay? You're going to bend, lift, extend, and then lift the knee. Okay? Looks like this. Watch me first. It's bend, 
right here if you can lift put the foot down and come back up are you ready let's do it here we go hip hinge right here lift the leg extend back put the leg right back down and come on back up beautiful that's level one here we go bend right here extend good toe goes down behind you and you come up now you got to be real careful here when you're bending to keep this hip lifted don't sink down into that hip or let it shift to one side you want to keep everything as straight as you can let's get one more like that you're gonna bend you're gonna lift right behind you straight up bring that toe down and come on up good shake it out nice job we're gonna do that with the other leg as well okay we're going to go back and do a second set, and it's going to be the hardest version. I'm going to stand this way. All right, take the other leg back. Let's take it down right here. We're going to bend, extend. Nice, tight abdominal muscles, all the core muscles working together to keep you balanced here. Palms are toward each other, thumbs are up. Bend forward right here, extend. Isn't that nice? Really keeps you in that good neutral spine. And you know what neutral spine means. That's your absolute best natural posture. Don't sink into the hip. Lift. Pitch the chest forward, reach that leg back, bring it down, and up. Let's go again, one more time. Take it down, extend that leg back, stay lifted into the hip, bring this leg down, and come on up. Nice job, shake it out right there. Woo, good stuff. We're gonna go for a level two on a second set. Come on back over here. I want you to watch me first. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to lift here. Then as I come up, I'm going to lift my knee and put my foot back. Are you ready to try that? Here we go. This leg back. You're going to go back down. Extend your leg. Next, you're going to pull it to your chest. Pull it to your chest and bring it up and then extend it back down right here. Okay? Change that a little bit. Bend. Right here, extend the leg back, nice and tall through that hip bowl. Bring that knee forward here, and bring it up, and extend it back. Good, again, bend it, extend it back, lift that leg, hold it up, bring that knee forward, bring it up, good. Let's do one more for grins, here we go. Chest pitches forward, lift that leg behind you, Stay lifted into that base hip, bring that knee all the way to the chest, and stand it up. Good job. Shake it out. Drop your chin. Let's go to the other side. Take this leg back. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Good. Dropping that chin. Abs are in. Stabilize on this leg. Let's do our last set. Here we go. Bend. Hip hinge. Take this leg back. Extend it. Remember, this is the advanced version. Pull the knee into the chest, and then stand up. Don't put a lot of pressure on your stick. Just gently hold it under your elbows. If it's too much for you, hold it at your elbows. Then you can just slide your hands out to the ends, pull your knee in, and come on back up. So don't put a lot of pressure on that stick, okay? Here we go. Bend, extend that leg, pull the knee in, stand up. Looks like a crane, doesn't it? Last one, best one right here. You're going to bend, extend that leg back. Nice balance act here. Pull that knee in. Not a lot of pressure on the stick on your back. Remember, not a lot of pressure. And come on up. Nice job. Shake it out, baby. Shake it out, baby. Take that stick right here. Bring it to your rib cage. You're going to bend over and stand up right here. You're going to bend and up. Nice. You're going to take the bar over your head, take a deep breath, inhale up, and back down. One more big inhale up, right here, inhale up, and back down. Good. Let's see if we can inhale up and go to your tiptoes right here. Just lift your heels off the ground. Lift. There you go. Nice. I'll turn to the side so you can see me. A little three-quarter angle here. Lift. That's it. Nice. Give me one more like that. Lift it up. Stay right there. Nice job. Shake out those shoulders for just a second. 
This is just a little upper body. I want you to pull the bar up to your chest and resist. Ready? Squeeze, two, one, and release. Here it is again. Squeeze, two, one. I want you to take a look at my back here. What we're doing here is squeezing that bar gently against the upper chest, right under that towel. Good. Again. And squeeze, two, one. Beautiful. Keep going. Now what I want you to remember about this is that your abs are pulled in nice and tight. And as you're pulling that bar into the chest, it's a little bit of resistance. We're going to add a hip tuck to this. Watch. Looks like this. Pull, tuck, release, and the stick goes back down. Watch again. Pull to your chest, tilt the pelvic bowl under, release, and come back down. Do it again. Ready? Pull, tilt the pelvic bowl under, release, and down. How you feeling? Isn't this a great workout? Just kind of opens everything up. Now I want you to think about this. When you're pulling this stick up, I want you to open that heart. Ready? Open that heart. Tuck the pelvic bowl under, release, and bring it down. Let me have a couple more. Pull, tuck that pelvic bowl under, release, and come on back down. Last one, best one, right here. Pull, tuck, release, and shake it out right here. Just shake it out side to side. Doesn't that feel good? Put your hands on the very end, cup them at the very end of your stick, if you can, and just bring that stick side to side. There you go, just swinging. Remember when you were a kid, you used to do these kind of things, just swing side to side? There you go, and you're just easy marching, keeping your knees soft, turn so you can see. That's all it is. Good, in four more, we're gonna stand up, keep our hands near the ends, but not on the ends, right here. Just, just gonna, gonna shift, shift it here, and you're gonna, gonna swim, you're gonna kayak. Kayak right here, knees bent, there you go. Now the top of the stick should go almost straight up as you're digging the bottom end of that stick into the water. Don't worry about your towel. Doesn't matter where it is. Four more. Three, two, one. Nice job. Okay, guess what? We're gonna sit down on the ground. I'm gonna come down to my mat, okay? And we're just gonna get comfortable here for a second. I want you to put your knees against this towel. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Now check this chart out on the screen. See how hard you think you've been working at this mobility stretch routine. I'll be right back with you. hard were you working? If you feel like you were working too hard, remember, don't take the stick into the greatest range of motion. And instead, do one of the easier versions of each exercise until you get used to it. It's real important that you keep that great posture. Abdominals in, chest lifted, shoulders back. Okay? From here, I want you just to cross your legs and just lean over right here and let that back stretch out for just a second. Now remember which leg is in front and which leg is in the back or behind because we're going to change that in just a second. And you're just resting here, stretching that low back out. Beautiful. Come on back up. Let's swap. Recross and lean forward. It's always important that you do everything from both sides. If you're right-handed and left-handed, you might have some imbalance. Right or left-handed, you might have some imbalances. It's always good to kind of try to correct those. Yay. Come on up. Take that stick. Put it on your legs. Right there, the towel should be centered under your legs. And you're going to lean forward, dig your heels in, and just hold gently here. You're not going to put a whole lot of pressure under your legs. This is called a V-sit. And in this position, okay, I want you to watch me. I'm going to lean back right here, and I'm going to extend my right leg, and then put it down. And you'll notice that my hand's underneath. I'm going to extend my left leg and put it right back down. Okay, are you ready? First, you're just going to lean back a little bit. Lean back a little bit. Now come right back up. Now the stick is there to help you, but I don't want you to depend on that stick, okay? What I want you to depend on instead is your core. I want you to lean back with your hands just underneath the bar, lightly touching. Take it back. Abs are in, good. Now this time when you go back, just go back far enough where you feel tension in the core. Extend that right leg. Good, bring that right leg back down. Give yourself a little help with the stick if you need it, and come on up. 
Nice job. You're going to lean back now. This time you're going to lift that left leg right here. Lift. Release it down. And come on up. Now you might be feeling this in the low back. If you are, there might be a couple reasons for that. Don't lean back quite so far. And you don't have to fully straighten the leg. You can just do as much as is comfortable. And come on back up. We go back again, leaning back, chest is lifted, shoulders are back. You're going to extend that left leg as much as you can. doesn't have to be all the way. Release it down and come on up. Good. Let's get two more right here. Lean back. Do the best you can with that right leg. Chest stays lifted. Shoulders stay back. Bring that leg right down. You're going to feel these muscles in the front of your legs tighten as you lift that leg. One more time. Lean back. You can hold on to the stick if you need to a little bit more than you thought. That's fine, too. Release it and sit up. Good. You're going to take that stick out from underneath. I want you to just pull those toes up. See if you can reach underneath those legs and just shrug your shoulders there for a second. And then release them back down. Let's do it again. Ready? Shrug and release. And one more time. Shrug and release. Now, I want you to extend your legs out. Okay? I want you to roll that stick down and roll it back to your knees. Right here. Ready? Roll it down. Roll it back. Nice. Give yourself a little self-massage here. Knees can bend as you reach forward. Let me have two more. Knees can bend slightly as you reach forward and back. One more time. Reach and back. Good job. All right. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and cross your legs. Take the stick behind your back, just behind your shoulders here. We're just going to hold it right back here, okay, and we're going to twist side to side. So twist away from me, or toward me rather, sorry, and back. Now twist away from me. There you go. And back. Let's do it again. Twist toward me, right here, and back to the center, and away from me, right there. Beautiful. Your palms are facing front. Your thumbs are up. You're going to twist. Nice. And again, twist here. Oh, doesn't that feel good? You can add a little push with the forward hand to allow yourself to twist back. And try to keep your knees open and your legs open. Doesn't that feel good? It feels so good. We're going to do two more. Ready? Twist. Come back to the center. Abs are in nice and tight. Chest is lifted. Twist. And come on back. Nice. You're going to take that stick out from over your shoulders, put it underneath your legs, and just round forward there. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Good. You're going to switch legs, recross, take that stick back again. Let your hands relax here. You're going to twist away from me, I mean toward me, <laughs> and back. Now twist away from me, and back. Now twist toward me. Now, each time you twist, guys, think about the stick as a guide. And I want you to try to twist with your own muscles. Try to twist with your own torso muscles instead of using the stick to push you. Twist. Good. Open up with your own strength in your torso. Twist. That stick is just there to guide you. Do it again. Twist. Let's have one more away from me. Twist. And relax. Nice job. You're going to take that stick off. Put it in front of your legs right here. Roll it down. See if you can put it behind your toes. And just hold that stretch right there. If you need to bend your knees a little bit more, that's okay too. Now, some of you are really flexible. You'd be able to take that stick, put it behind your toes, and hold there. And if you can do that, soften your knees. If you're starting with that position, soften your knees a little bit and hold that stick there. So it's all a matter of what you can do, okay? Putting it behind both feet. If that's too much for you, just put it behind one foot and then maybe the other foot just to get that stretch in. Okay? So you're still here. Nice job. All right, we're going to sit cross legged. I'm going to face you now. How are we doing? We doing okay? Right here in your lap. Lean here. Put your hands together here in a prayer position. Drop your chin. Take a deep breath and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Nice job. We're going to try to do a V seat, lifting both feet. If you can do it, join me now. I'm going to turn back to the side. Now remember, we had the stick underneath our legs, right here, and we were lifting and extending with each leg. 
Right now I want to see if you've got your mat behind you, make sure you have plenty of mat behind you. I want you to lean back, go to your toes first, and see if you can balance with your feet off the ground. Slide your hands out, lift your chest, see if you can put your thumbs on the outside of your stick. You see that right there? Good. All right, now slide your hands back in. Now try to just straighten your legs a little bit and hold it there. Abs are in, chest is lifted, shoulders are back. Nice job. And lower your legs and come forward. Just put your hands on the front of your ca calves right here at the shin and hold there. We're going to do one more V-seat. We're just going to hold it. You're going to put your hands underneath the stick. Lean back. Okay. Lift one or both legs. Okay. Very nice. Chest lifted, shoulders back. Slide your hands out to the end of the stick. If you can straighten your legs a little bit more, do it. Chest is lifted. Abs are in. Looking right through your feet there. Stay there. That's a nice V-sit. And bend, leaning forward. Nice job. I want you to take your stick out from underneath, put it on your mat, and you are going to lay sideways here, my friends. Just laying sideways here. I want you to come on over and stretch. That's a nice stretch right there. Beautiful. And bring it back. Good job. You're going to swap. Go to the other side. Just going to take your feet side saddle. You can put your stick anywhere you want. Right here. You're going to come down here and just stretch. Stay there. And nice it. Good job. You're going to come forward onto your hands and knees right here. We're just going to do a nice stretch for the back. We're going to drop down and up. Good. Give me a couple more. Now, I'm going to continue stretching right here. I want you to take a look at the chart on that screen. See how you're doing in terms of your stretching. What level are you at? Okay, how'd you do on that? Remember, if you think you're overdoing it, pull back a little bit on your stick. Remember, you don't have to go to those extreme ranges of motion. You just want to turn or twist or lift or extend where it's comfortable for you. One more time. Round it up right here. And we're going to sit back onto our heels and stretch right there. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Good job. You're going to be standing up right here. Take one knee. Put the stick on top of your leg, turn that back toe under and push yourself up. Guess what we're getting ready to do? We're going to go do some lunges. Okay, you're going to need your mat for this if you're not on a carpeted floor. And all I want you to do is take your stick behind you, right here. Take one foot in front and one leg behind. I'm going to start with my right leg. Okay, can you see me there? Make sure that you're completely on the mat and that your abs are in, your chest is lifted. And watch, you're going to come down and up. Your palms are against the back of the stick right here. Take it down. Good. And up. You want to make sure your legs are good and far apart because you want to make sure that you've got that front knee bending behind that front toe. Keep going. Down two. And up two. Keep your chest lifted. Keep your shoulders back. Elbows bent. Nice job. Good. Let's go down for four. Four, three, two, one and right back up. Now remember, you don't have to go all the way down to the floor each time. That sticks behind you to keep your chest lifted and your shoulders back. Three, two, one, abs in and up. You're staying in that perfect straight line. Let's go. Take it down. Four, three, two, one. Remember, you have your right leg in front, so when we change sides, we're going to have our left leg in front. Good. Take it down. Four, three, two, one and right back up four three two good now you're going to step forward bring your feet together right here you're going to bend over and lift that stick off your back put it back down let it rest lift it off put it back down let it rest take it up put it down take it back up and hold it right here so you're pulling that stick up off your back what it looks like right there from the front. Nice job. Now come on up. Beautiful. Let's do that other leg. Now you had your right leg in front last time. Let's go ahead and put your left leg in front this time. Make sure you got a good wide stance from your front foot to your back foot. 
palms against the stick. Let's go down a little bit to start. Nice. And come on back up. Beautiful job, guys. You're going to keep those abs in. Keep those chests lifted. Keep those shoulders back. You're in perfect form here. The stick really helps you with your alignment. Good. And keep going. Abs are in. Chest is lifted. And up. Good. Keep going. Down. Up. Down. Up. Now, let's go four counts down. Ready? Four. Three. Two. One. And up. Three. Two. One. Here we go. Four. Three. Two. One. And up. Three. Keeping the chest lifted and the shoulders back. Keeping your body weight centered right between those feet. Keeping that front knee behind that toe. And up. Three. Two. How about one more for grins? Ready? Four. Three. Two. One. And up. Three. Two. Good. Step forward. Feet are together. Right here. You're going to lean forward. Pull that stick up off your back. Right there. Hold it. And bring it back down. We're going to do that again. Pull that stick off your back and hold it. And bring it back down. Got a couple more like that. Lift. Hold. I'll turn three quarters so you can see me. Lift. Hold. Oh, there's a nice shot right there. Let's see what's going on there. Good. Now, all I want you to do is come up slowly. Beautiful. You're going to take the stick closer. See your grip right here? Watch. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to extend. Come on back down. Extend. Now, you've got to find that perfect place where you can extend the arms and bring them back to your back. Can you see that? Looks like that. That's nice. That's triceps right there. Okay, it's not any weight. You're just extending. And as you extend, think about pulling the stick apart as if it would come apart in the middle. Four more. Right here. Three. Give me two more. Last one. Good. Hold it right there. You're going to ease that stick under your buttocks. Lean back and look up. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Good. Now you're going to come back here. Roll that stick up your back. And roll it back down. Now if you need a smaller behind or longer arms, just write in for, for them. We sell those on our website. <laughs> roll it up. And down. Good. Again. Roll it up. Now you're just opening up the chest each time you do this. You're really just pulling that chest open, opening that heart, and your elbows are pointing back right there. That is so nice. I need two more from you. It's kind of a little self-massage here on your low back. There you go. And one more time right here. Good job. All right. Time to check the chart on your screen. Get a drink of water. I'll be right here. Go ahead. Okay, I hope you were doing great. I hope you worked out and got a good stretch and a lot of great exercises for that upper body. We opened everything up and we felt wonderful. Let's take a couple of deep breaths right here. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. We're gonna take that stick, put it behind our back right here. Take your head to the left, stretch it out. Go to the right, sorry. Stretch that neck out, beautiful. And head back to the center. Take your head to the left. Stay right there. That was our great stick workout. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. Now, don't you feel taller and more open? Good, because you want to open your heart. That's what it's all about. Don't forget to give. I'll see you next time. I'm Jen Miller. Take care.